They should have asked how often I crash this thing before they invite me to ride it. <laughs> it's my mission to help you and your organisation play the game at a higher level. You know, I've been obsessed with how do you implement and create compounded and consistent growth in your life and in your organisation. You know, I'm blessed to have grown up in an awesome family, a loving family and a fun family, but most importantly, a family that created a growth culture. My passion forever has been motocross, it's no secret. Before I could even ride a BMX, I was obsessed with motorcycles. As I got older, I started to see the pressure and financial pressure that motocross put on my family. I didn't come from a rich family. My parents, they grew up in housing commission and government housing, but they worked their butts off so my sister and I could live a great life. And one year they decided we'd go on a holiday, we'd take a family holiday, and we'd, I'd get to race in the Australian Junior Motocross titles. We drive in, and we park next to a kid who's got a semi-truck. A kid who's got five dirt bikes. Now this kid had a mechanic, he had a chef, he had a coach. This kid's dad even had a helicopter in the paddock next door. And as I'm walking through the pits, just drooling over all this stuff, I say to mum, how the hell do these people have what they have? Mum says, Brad, these people don't have what they have because they worked harder than us. These people have what they have because they worked smarter than us. I was like, bam, that's a good one, mum. I decided I'm going to spend my time working harder at being smarter because I wanted to be in a position to make a difference. And I wanted to turn my passion for motocross into my profession. You know, my vision and dream from the start was to build a motorcycle that not only made motocross more accessible and more affordable, but a bike that could compete, a bike that could win, and a bike that would give other families and people an opportunity to get involved in this sport. I'm stoked to tell you that this year, in May, we travelled to Las Vegas and we raced in the World Championships on this bike. And the bra bike won. Thank you guys.